right and wrong, life and death. Those were the two paths put before Israel as they were about to enter the promised land from the wilderness. Deuteronomy is the fifth book of the law. It's Moses' final speech in which he pleads with Israel to choose right over wrong. And this speech contains many warnings and provisions, commands and restrictions that were meant to give Israel direction onto the path that would lead them away from destruction and into life. If they obeyed, they would be blessed. They would live with God and have life. But if they disobeyed, they would be cursed. They would be exiled from the land and would die. So Moses passed on the law so Israel might know wrong from right. But in the speech itself, in the book of Deuteronomy, Moses made a devastating prophecy. Yes, Israel would enter the land. But once they do, they would forget God and break his commands. The stone they carried actually promised it would come true. Deuteronomy guaranteed that Israel would turn aside to death instead of life. They would choose wrong instead of right. So they would be exiled from the land. They would be locked outside. Both parents and their children would refuse to listen to the words Moses had written on that tablet of stone. So they would be separated from God outside the promised land. They would be cursed to die alone. And while there are moments of obedience to God's commands, as we trace Israel's history through the Bible, we find that this guarantee about disobedience and exile ultimately stands. Generation after generation disregarded Deuteronomy and its demands. They ran after death, slamming the door on the God of life and his law written on stone. They forgot God and his commands and began defining right and wrong on their own. And the reason Moses knew that the law would be disowned was because Israel's hearts were hard. It's something that they had constantly shown. The law of sin was etched into their hearts like the law of God was etched into that stone. But Deuteronomy made another guarantee about what was to come. God would raise up another prophet like Moses who would keep the law and obey all he had spoken. Where Israel ignored God's commands, he would uphold them. He would put the law in its proper place and take them back to the land God had chosen. But the law continued to be broken. You see, Deuteronomy isn't a set of rules. It's the story of the path we all choose. We all have chosen wrong over right. So we have all earned death over life. And it's because we too have these hard hearts. Whatever sin offers, we willfully pursue. And without some kind of inward change, this is all we will ever do. But there is good news. For even though we all broke the law written on stone, God's promise of a Moses-like prophet was not taken back or overthrown. Even though we broke God's word, God would not break his. For just as permanent as all the commands and punishments were God's promises that he would come and fix all of our brokenness. And that's who Jesus is, the prophet like Moses who upholds all of God's commandments. He perfectly held together what we could only break. He fulfilled what the law required and put it in its proper place. Jesus reversed the curse our stone hearts had earned by giving us the life he lived and taking on the death we deserved. And he does all of this to take us back to the place Israel was at first, on the border of a new and better promised land where heaven and earth will merge. Right and wrong, life and death. These are the two paths put before us 
as we journey to the land we will possess. But how will we not follow those who went before us in their sins and missteps? Well, the answer is this. When Jesus fulfilled the law, he actually took the doors to life off their hinges. You see, Jesus does what the law could never do, no matter how many times we could hear it. For he did not give us a law of stone outside us. Instead, he guides us by writing his law on our hearts by his spirit. Now, that doesn't mean you'll never try to go astray. It doesn't mean you'll never be drawn back to your old gravitations. But it does mean that the door on the path to separation is now locked. For those who are in Christ, there is no condemnation. So now, because Jesus fulfilled the law, we who have done nothing but wrong can now finally do right. We who have earned nothing but death can now have life. Hey, 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 I don't say my name, right? Do I say my name? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're definitely starting with that. Hey, we're Spoken Gospel. Thank you so much for watching our introduction to the book of Deuteronomy. We've now introduced every book in the Torah, and we're really excited about that. We are making video introductions to every single book of the Bible, doing two things. We're showing that book's main theme and how that theme is ultimately fulfilled in Jesus and his gospel. This video is crowdfunded by a group of generous people like you, and now we're raising support for our next set of videos, which will be the Gospels and Acts. Spoken Gospel is a nonprofit dedicated to speaking the gospel out of every corner of scripture. And in case you didn't hear it from the first two guys, Gospels and Acts are up next. <laughs> so to get involved with what we're doing and view more of our free resources, head over to SpokenGospel.com.